In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, I welcome you to Monday of the fourth week of Lent. It's a new working week, and I welcome you indeed. Every Monday is a day we pray especially for divine blessings and breakthrough, especially as we go out to work, to labor, and to toil. And today, we are told in Isaiah chapter 65, verses 17 to 21, that they shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyard and eat their fruit. So when we walk, we are will labor, and we pray to God, no more shall be the sound of weeping be heard or the cry of distress. Things will be better for you. Things will be better for you. That's what Isaiah is saying. You know, that the, the infant will not be dying again. And we shall live and see old age and enjoy the fruit of our labor. We shall see our children. This is a prayer from Isaiah today. And we pray that that prayer shall be fulfilled in our lives, in our families, in everything we do. God will bless us with these prayers of Isaiah today in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, I will rejoice in Jerusalem and be glad in my people. No more shall there be heard sound of weeping. If God is happy with us, ha, 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 oh, what else do we need? If God is happy with us, what else do we need? And even we ourselves, we will extol you, Lord, for you have raised us up. So God is promising us so many good things. Just like this big officer, the son was almost dying with heavy fever. And he begged the Lord Jesus Christ to come and do something. And Jesus sent, told him, go home, your son will be okay. And he had faith and belief. If you believe, you will see uh, the miracles of our Lord. Just believe in your own life too. Even the words that were spoken by the prophet Isaiah in the first reading, believe. That you will live and see old age. You will not die untimely death. And that when you build vines, when you labor, when you toil, you shall be able to reap and enjoy the fruit of your labor. You need to believe too in all these things. As much as you work hard, you have to also believe that you will be alive and the hand of God will never leave you, but he will bless you. Just like this man believed and received his healing. You too shall receive your healing. It doesn't matter where you are. You may be listening to me anywhere, in your office, in your house, in the place of work. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is that when you believe, God's blessings shall touch you wherever you are. God's blessings shall accompany you in that your struggle. You too shall receive blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you believe, with him all things are possible. Let us pray. God our Father, we believe and we know that you work great signs and wonders. We believe and we know that there is nothing is impossible with you. We beg you, Father, to bless, to hear our prayers, to heal us and to raise us from the shackles of death, of suffering, and make us, Almighty God, to enjoy your favors that you promised even in the first reading of today. Help us to enjoy the favor this official received when the son became well. May we too receive healing to our sicknesses, to whatever pains, be it internal or external that we are passing through. Whatever testimony the doctor have said, we reject it, but we believe that with you is total and complete healing through Christ our Lord. May the mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I believe you are blessed. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. For more motivational and spiritual messages, visit www.fathathomasonabedailydigest.com.